sticking to a budget can be tough, even for the state of Alabama. We had large budget surpluses, and now it's reverting back to the mean. We're still in, in the black, but uh, we need to be careful that we don't overspend, which could put us in the red in subsequent years. Money in all aspects is what representatives hope to get established in the next legislative session. We're working on the budget now, uh, certainly working with the Senate uh, chairman as well and with the governor's office. Uh, we've been having, we're down to weekly meetings with the governor's office, executive budget office, and uh, we've got a follow-up meeting tomorrow in person with the governor. An item up for discussion, prison funding. Our first contract on, on the first mega prison, it nearly doubled in price. We thought we would build two prisons for a little over a billion. Our first one is a, a billion, 600 million uh, in itself. And so we'll, we'll hear tomorrow uh, in a briefing what that price tag is going to be for the Scambia uh, next mega prison. And we'll just have to adjust to that. Prison conditions have been a concern for both staff, inmates, and families. Reynolds shares this funding will address these concerns. This first mega prison they're working on now, um, that will be our medical facility, and, and certainly that, that increased the cost of it. Uh, but certainly, our, you know, our overall medical contract through the uh, ADOC continues to increase. I think it's a problem we got to address. <clears throat> you know, we want to better manage the inmates, moving them from one place to another uh, for, for workforce development, you know, and activities within, within the prisons. Uh, but we, we've also got to create a safer environment for our corrections officers. Uh, we're short of officers, and I think that's one thing that we can do to, to help increase uh, our, our workforce participation there. And another item that comes up year after year, lottery. Well, it depends what's in it. You know, the people I represent, I hear a lot about a lottery, wanting to vote on a lottery. But if it's going to be uh, giving out franchises to gamers or to gaming operations, for little or no money to the state, uh, certainly not interested in that. The idea of a gaming bill is currently being worked on. We sent the bill to the House and they've not moved, been able to move it, so the Senate this year chose to start the bill in the House and if they can move it, then we'll, we'll take it up. I'm not sure what it looks like, so, and the, and the devil's in the details. Until you see it, you don't know what it looks like. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.